to this area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. When you go rapping like that. to the subscribers man I don't even want no intro let's get right to it salute to every single one of y'all man follow me on the gram Vodafly um daylight 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 after the K-Shine battle with Hollow the Don this weekend daylight has gone on to refuse to ever 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 ever, ever, ever battle K-Shine in life um it's funny that it, that that you 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 got to look at things from the perspective of battlers nowadays. They battle for stock. Some battle just for the money. Some battle for moving into esteemed positions. And the funny thing is, while while K Shine was battling against Hollow the Don this weekend, Daylight texted me and said, "Is this the guy that you said could beat me?" I was like, "Yo, this is bananas!" Like like. In the, the battle hadn't even ended yet. They're still rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're still rapping. And he texted me like, yo, this is the guy that you said could beat him. Not, well, I don't know if I, if I said he could beat him. But it was said. It's a narrative. It's a narrative that's out there that people wanted to see Shine versus Daylight. Daylight said, absolutely not. He said, he texted me and said that. And then he tweeted, there will be no Daylight versus Shine ever. All deposits have been returned. I pray bro find himself. P.S. I will be dropping all my K-Shine rounds on YouTube sometime next week. P.S. November 16th. Save the date. Basically saying like, nigga, this is never going to happen. I'm not battling him. Not now or not ever. And uh, we was talking and he went on to tell me uh, that uh, he basically passed on the battle. He showed me screenshots where he basically... Emailed the URL and was like, I, gi I give y'all, <laughs> what are we doing here? How have we got to the point where a battle is passable? Like, he don't even want this shit no more? Like, has Sean regressed that far to where niggas don't even want him no more? If that's the case, that's crazy. Because I remember one time, not too long ago, within the last year or so, Sean was one of the most dangerous MCs ever. I don't know where he's lost a step or lost his footing at to get to the point now where people are now like a daylight is passing on him. And he's passing on him publicly. It's not like he's just doing it behind the scenes like, yo, I'm good on that battle. That's not, that's not something I want. He's letting the general public and letting people know, letting me, a blogger, know that he's not doing it. So if he's letting me know, he's letting me know so I can let people know that this is just something that he's not interested in. Um... Like I said, Daylight had one of the best performances, three round performances ever on the URL versus Tay Rock. And people have been wanting to see him get back in that bag and battle again. You know what I'm saying? Like we've seen him versus King Los. That was a pretty cool battle too. But you know, a lot of people want to see what's his next move on URL. And Hollow the Don, who battled K Shine and beat K Shine, wasn't even a crazy battle. It's just he did more than I don't like, I just don't know what to say about. Shine's performance, I don't know how he's lost with, with the crowd or like the pocket of flows that he was in. When he battled against Chess and E Heart, he was very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. But it's just something about what's going on now, it's just not clicking the same. You know what I'm saying? And it's not the hate. Like, I, I fuck with Shine. You know what I'm saying? I rock with what he does. I like his music. Fiji! I like his, what he, his movement, things like that. Zip him up. 
Uh, he improved himself a lot in the two on twos with DNA. You know what I'm saying? He had a two on two with Luke Castro earlier in the year, but it's just not. 2021 is just not K Shine's year. Like, this is. Uh, I'm not going to. Depending on how he finishes his year, this could potentially be one of his worst years in battle rap like I and, and it's not I, I'm not trying to hate like I said I fuck with Sean I like what he does I like what he can do but to complete the mission and hit on all of the targets that he's aiming for it's just not happening right now and I don't know sometimes it's the opponent sometimes it's the setting sometimes it's the stage but Sean on a big stage is supposed to be a dog like even in the battle with Hitman he was still, he still got off. The battle with Rum Nitty, he got off. Mad big stage battles. Even in a big stage battle with Av on the strike, he got off. Like, I expect more from k -Shine. Especially on a card like Summer Madness this year, where, let's just be honest, the bar wasn't set that high. Like, he could have easily had one of the best performances of the night outside of Easy vs. Chess was fire. Um, and there was a couple other performances sprinkled here and there. But the bar was not set very high for you to have a performance of the night type in a battle versus Hollow. Where, like I said, Hollow did not execute you. He didn't bomb on you. You know what I'm saying? You from that same cloth as Sue Surf in them. You from them same classes. You was you you from that same in a lot era. Like you you from that same field. You've been out there. You you've been running around ripping shit down. It shouldn't come to this part where battle rap is at the highest perspective. People are it's doing the most views. Uh, you know, people are watching it. There's apps. It's on Fox Sports. It's on the bottom of the TV. NFL, NBA, all kind of players and everything is watching this shit. You know what I'm saying? Even the bloggers are probably making more than they ever made before. So when people be like, "Oh man, this blog got beef," I don't got beef with no N O B O D Y. I don't got a problem with nobody. They say your name. They keep it in the algorithm. I don't, you'll never, I'm not going to jump on my camera talk. I don't care. I don't care. Let's make it fair. I retired under 40, shorty. I'm good. I only talk about battles, battle rap. I don't got no problems. You know why? Because they're making good, 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 the poor guy's own money. Niggas is doing good with this shit. I got niggas that work for me and with me. I pay them too. Niggas is doing good. Battle rap is in an all-time great space. Shine, you got to find it. Because you should not... The first reaction from your battle should not be, and I got the message right here. He said, me and Sean is a no-go. Gotta find a new match. Like, he, Daylight is basically text, you are, I don't wanna get into who and what and all of that. But that's the message that came straight to my phone. Me and you is a no-go. I'm not doing it. And then he went on to say, there will be no shine versus daylight ever. All deposits have been returned. I pray that he find himself. P.S. I'll be dropping my rounds. Nigga say he gonna because he was writing for you. But now he's like, no, I'm good. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Uh like I said, I rock with Shine. I hope Shine gets back to the shine that we remember. But right now it's just not uh it's not clicking. And you know, the the chiller joint. Chill is a dangerous MC, so I'm not really surprised. And there was in a, it was a dangerous MC in a small room with like nobody there, just like 20 to 20 people. So I'm not surprised in a lyrical battle like that where it's like a lyrical war. I'm not surprised. And then he had the little joint with the wire and all of that. So that was one thing. But the big stage, a lot of people felt like Sean was gonna bring it on the big stage, and it just. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't what it was. I think his hollow battle, I don't want to reach, but it might be one of his low light performances since Mr. Wavy, maybe? I wasn't going to go back as far as Ice, but I'd definitely go with Wavy. It was not a good, it was not a good look for you, you know what I'm saying? And Wavy, you know, debatable. Some people gave it to Wavy, some people gave it to Shine, but Shine, I... The way I look at K-Shine, I look at Shine as one of the big dogs in this shit. I look at him like, not, not like, a a big dog, like, I get that. But I look at him as like one of the pillars in battle rap, a, a super top tier MC. And there's no way that you should be coming out of a battle with Hollow where nobody feels like you won. Like, 
I didn't see nobody. I mean, I don't really watch a lot of shit, but I'm talking about like on the Twitter timeline. I don't really see nobody saying he won. Clear loss. That's what I'm saying. It's to the point where Daylight don't want to battle him anymore. <laughs> like, Daylight's like, nigga, I don't want the battle. Like, you know how hard it is for people to get money nowadays? And for a nigga to send the money back, like, yo, it's, this battle is such a bad look for me. I am willing to send the money back. Return the sender. I don't want it. That's different. That's definitely different. But I got hope in K. Sean. You know what I'm saying? Like, hopefully he gets the right matchup, the right look, or something. Because right now everything is not clicking. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I know that him and DNA used to spar a lot. They was doing two on twos. But to my knowledge, like from what I've seen and heard, I think K. Sean moved to Atlanta now. So, I don't know if that distance between you and DNA, y'all not sparring as much or whatever the case may be. But y'all need to get back to it. Like, whatever y'all was doing when you was in that, that dangerous killer bag, like, you need to get back to it. Y'all niggas need to get back to sparring on Zoom, like Kyrie Irving and shit, on the Zoom meeting or whatever the case may be. Y'all need to get back to it. And like I said, this is no disrespect to Kayshawn because honestly, if he would have stepped in there and 30 hollow or if he would have won, he could have he could have said what he was saying and I'd be doing a blog about that, you know what I'm saying? But just to keep it a buck, you gotta be honest, you know what I'm saying? I I, I was kinda let down because I did I no, I didn't bet on Sean. I didn't bet. Um because some for some reason in battles, like when I bet, I don't win. Like I just lose. Like for some reason. If I pick a nigga, the the best way for me to know somebody's gonna lose is to bet on the person. Like if I bet on a nigga, he's gonna lose. If I would have bet on Sue Surf, John John and Don would have fucking blew the roof off the building. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just the way my luck with battling goes. Like, that's why I don't really bet that much. Because every time I bet, the nigga loses. Like, it's just, the nigga lose the coin flip, lose the first, lose the second, and sometimes lose the third. Nigga swept every motherfucking round. Then I'm looking crazy. So, I, I stay away from um, betting on battles and shit. Um, other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all out there. I still got some t-shirts that I'm giving away. Uh, the quickest way to win one is to follow me on IG at Vada underscore fly. You know what I'm saying? I just randomly scroll through and just pick people. Boom, boom, boom. And just give them away. You know what I'm saying? That's just to support all of the people who support me through and through. You know what I'm saying? Like whether good, bad, or indifferent. You know, I try to do things to become a better person and continue to grow through this platform while we get more subscribers, more views. Salute to my guy Showtime SP doing all the things that he do. But you know, shine. This is more so about get 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 back in your bag, get back in your bag, get to work. You know what I'm saying? Like you cut the hair, you took it off. The, you cutting your hair was the biggest moment of the battle for you. I need more, my nigga. Like I need more. I don't know if you got to start going, start jogging in the morning, start running laps, start going to the gym. I go to the gym every, you know what I'm saying? I've been going to the gym every day. My shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, hey, hey, big dog. She was a dog, one for the goofy that went for the shit. <laughs> Pull up at the party for your 21st B-Day. Yeah, yeah, 21 shots for the birthday kid. Hey, hey, 